Nuderi. Thanks. <clears throat> we did have a uh, the project uh, submitted a very compelling uh, proposal to NASA for extending the missions of the two rovers, and NASA approved it. And so what I'd like to do this morning is tell you um, a, a few attributes of uh, the uh, extended mission, uh, how long, and uh, what we tried to accomplish during the extended mission. Uh, so let's first start with how long. Uh, the uh, mission has been approved for uh, roughly another five months uh, to mid-September. Uh, so if you take a look at it, that would take it to about SOL 250 relative to uh, Spirit landing, uh, approximately tripling the lifetime uh, relative to the 90 SOLs when we launched it. And it was for one rover, a 600 meter traverse. And uh, on SOL 89, we got to 600 meters and we're now sitting with about 617 meters on the odometer. So Spirit has accomplished all those objectives and uh, mission success has been met. So as uh, so, the warranty is kind of up. Uh, we'll, we'll see what types of things happen as Spirit continues on. But, but one of the things we did in honor of Spirit's 90 SOLs is um, some of the engineers, Chris Lewicki, Justin Mackey, and uh, Stu Bahavik, made a video. And uh, we think that if Spirit's life were ever to flash in front of her eyes, this is what it might look like. And light tone rocks are interesting. Light tone rocks, many of us feel, speak to water in some way, shape, or form in terms of coating. The interesting point is the light tone rocks were coated after they were shaped by wind. So this is not a process that goes back billions of years, but is a more recent process. And there's a lot of debate into, within the team as to when it happens.